Hey guys, welcome to Carry Thoughts. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a file in Power Automate and get it over your own file system. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to initialize a variable, store some value in it, and that value will be stored in a text file in my own system. So let's create a uh, flow. Uh, I'll be doing an instant cloud flow. Let's give it a name. So let's start with initializing the variable. So now in Power Automate, I'm going to simply create initialize a variable, my fav, and it's going to be a string, and I'm going to write anything. Uh, my name is test. Let's save it. And this particular my name is test is going to be extracted from Power Automate and then it's going to stay in my file system. So I choose the file system create file and now we are getting all these kind of options because we have not uh, configured the on-premises gateway, on-premises data gateway. So first we will go and install it. I will be providing the link to download uh, that particular on-premises data gateway. So you go over that link download the standard gateway and install it i'll show you how to install this on premises data gateway so i already have it so double click on the app and it will open the uh, installation guide accept and install it will ask for permissions okay now it's going to take a while i'll just skip it over because this on-premises data gateway it takes some time now I'm going to enter the email which I'm going to use with this gateway so you can use the your companies or your uh, testing email address which you are going to refer in order to set up this particular on-premises data gateway for fetching the file for allowing the power automate to access the file system so let's sign in most of the things I'm going to hide because these are sensitive information i hope you guys don't mind it now it's going to ask for a pick account let's register so i'm going to register a new gateway on this computer because i do not have any old so let's name it anything uh, my first connection uh, guys one more thing i would like to mention over here we are going to do all these steps again because first it creates the gateway on its own. Uh, the service account is going to be different. I'm not sure if we can change it right now. So as you can see, the service account in service settings is something else. It's not something which is allowed to use my computer. So either I provide this, the, uh, this particular account the access to my computer or I create another one. So I'm going to now create a service account. I'm going to my CM and once that is done, it will ask again to enter the email address. You can get the username from their CMD by writing who am I command. So again, I'm going to do that. This time it will work because now this, it will have the service account that, okay, I need to change the gateway name. So now it will be pointing to that particular service account which has the access to my computer. So as you go to the service settings, I cannot show you but now it's showing me the new service account. So let's go back and do this particular setting. Testing connection one. Uh, the root folder is going to be the folder from which you are going to allow the access of your computer to power automate so you i have pasted it and uh, username is again going to be the same username by which you have uh, used as a service account the password and the gateway is my connection my first connection to let's create it so now uh, you can choose the file system folder path in which your file is going to be saved. So we have these three options. Let's uh, fill them in. In file system, I can choose backup of my scripts and uh, the file name, my first, oh, sorry, my first 
file.txt so a text file is going to be created you can mention here content of the file is the variable itself and I'm going to save it and now test it so I'm going to run the flow and it's done so guys now you can go to that particular folder path and you can check your file is present or not thank you so much for following this video and uh, hope you will subscribe to the channel so that I get some support uh, like the video so it gets some motivation to me uh, thank you guys um, till next time also let me know if you have any other things related to any power automate or something else you need to get upload bye bye